Uh, hello traders, uh, hello traders. Uh, today is the 3rd of January uh, 2013 and the time in London is 17 minutes past 11 p.m. In New York uh, is 17 minutes past 6 p.m. Uh, happy New Year to you all. Uh, this video is about how to recognize uh, the Elliott Wave uh, patterns. All right, there are various uh, methods that traders use uh, to recognize the uh, different types of uh, Elliott wave uh, patterns. All right, so the first thing that we want to use if you want to recognize uh, or identify, okay, an Elliott wave pattern is to understand, okay, the Elliott wave cycle. Okay, as I explained to you last time, in a video that we titled What is uh, a Cycle? We know that uh, an earlier wave cycle is formed of uh, emotive waves and a corrective uh, okay, wave. So we are talking about the trending phase, the trending phase, okay, and also the corrective phase, okay. So there are two phases for the Elliott wave cycle. From here up to this level here, this is the trending phase, which we call also the motive wave. The motive wave is the one, two, three, four, five waves that formed, okay? The, the trend, motive wave is the first wave, second wave, third wave, fourth wave, fifth wave, that will form, okay, the trending phase of the earlier wave cycle. And then we have the ABC, Correction, which is the corrective phase of the earlier wave cycle. So the earlier wave cycle, which is uh, composed of two components, the, the motive phase and the corrective phase, okay? All right, so we can use the the earlier wave cycle to recognize, okay, wave patterns, all right? Because we know how the earlier wave uh, a cycle is formed, we will be able to know are we in a training phase? Are we in the training phase of the cycle? So this will allow us uh, to identify, okay, the earlier wave pattern that can be formed during the motive uh, phase. And if we are in a corrective phase, we can also know which type of, uh, okay, pattern we can expect during the corrective phase. So this is one method that can use to recognize or to identify, okay, uh, an earlier wave, uh, okay, patterns. Another thing that they can use is to use different time frames. So we are now on the yearly chart for this uh, stock, Epic, uh, uh, Eco, S-Ray, Papa, Delta, Expeditor International of Washington. You see this is here, American stock. So we are on the yearly chart. Looking at this yearly chart, all I can say is that there was a trend. We can't deny that, you see that? For many years, since 1995, there was a trend up to uh 2007 okay so he said there was a trend here and then we see the price went down and went up okay it's a kind of correction here there was a trend a correction is taking place we also know that uh, a cycle on a lower degree can be a minor cycle on a higher degree all right so this is very important when we are using if we want to recognize the earlier wave patterns that's why it's so important as we are looking on this on the yearly chart Nothing should stop us to change time frame. If you can even look on a five-year chart, if it's possible, we will do that because we know that uh, the market is fractal and the higher time frame command the lower time frame. So the second method that trader use to recognize the area wave pattern is uh, to use a different time frame. So on this um, yearly chart, all I can see there was a trend and then I see a movement like one, two, three so far, okay? That's all I can say about uh, this uh, time frame. I'm going to tell you first and then I will explain to you how you do that when you are using different time frame, all right? So the first thing is to understand the earlier wave cycle. The second method that they can use to identify the earlier wave pattern is uh, the different time frames, okay? One can also use a different stocks, like uh, this stock now, uh, Expeditor International, is uh, listed on the Nasdaq 100. So very often, stock that belongs to the same sector will uh, exhibit, okay, similar patterns. So 
Sometimes if there is a confusion, you may compare one stock belonging to the same sector to another stock, okay, or you look at various stocks in the same sector on the same time frame to see whether, okay, you can identify another area with pattern or if there is a consistent, okay, uh, same pattern repeating itself on a different, uh, okay, stock listed in the same sector. So, apart from the area wave cycle, we can use the different time frame and also use a different stock that are listed on the, on the same sector, okay, to see whether they can help us, okay, to identify the the pattern if it is a bit confusing or challenging to us okay the fourth element that trader can use that can assist them to recognize or to identify the wave patterns is the market itself the market itself is the s p 500 so we know that uh, using the trading triangle is the market first okay then the sector before the individual financial instrument so sometimes you can if you have difficulty to uh, to uh, detect, uh, okay, the wave pattern. Sometimes the market itself, if you see, for instance, um, a, a running flat correction on the S&P 500, there is a high chance that many stocks will re repeat or exhibit the same pattern, okay, very often the market, the pattern that we see on the market can be duplicated by other stocks, okay, uh, because the market is influencing every other okay uh, financial instrument all right so four elements we can use uh, if you want to identify clearly uh, area with pattern we use uh, okay uh, we try to understand okay the the area wave cycle the motive phase which is the training phase and the corrective phase that's what is forming okay my apology for the pop-up apology to traders that 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 is uh, what is forming uh, okay the area wave cycle and then we will also apart from that we can use different time frame which i'm going to show you now how you do that different time frames that will also help us to identify the area wave pattern we can also use a different stock look at different stock in the same sector and also of course the market there are other ways that traders can uh, uh, you recognize the area wave pattern, but we will stop with four elements today, and I will show you now how we can use different time frame uh, to recognize that the area wave pattern. So we're on a yearly chart. That's how we can see we are wondering which pattern we have here. All right. The experienced trader will be thinking straight away about the flat correction. Is he running flat correction? Is he expanded? Okay, flat correction. Is he just a classic a flat correction? In my previous video i've been talking to traders about uh, uh, what we call uh, uh, the expanded uh, flat correction uh, which is uh, uh, abc abc one two three four five okay and um, the running pattern okay the running flat uh, correction we will look at this and see whether we have a running flat correction or an expanded okay flag correction or a classic flag correction we want to understand what is a correction and the different patterns okay that that uh, that that belong to the group of uh, alien wave uh, corrective uh, patterns okay now from the yearly chart because that's what we can see we can change now the time frame we go for instance to the monthly chart okay this is like a zoom into the price to see the sub waves because on the yearly chart we are zooming out okay so we are looking from far away looking at just the bigger picture that's what we see by going to a lower time frame we are zooming into the chart okay like looking with a microscope to see the sub waves within okay the bigger patterns okay so you can see uh the line that I draw here, I will remove my line now. You can see that uh, on the monthly chart, things are becoming very clear for us now. There was, of course, a trend in this session, okay, up to this level here. All I'm doing, if I'm, I want to recognize the pattern, I just go like this and say, okay, the price went down. That's what I'm doing. The price went down, okay, exactly the same thing you'll do. And then the price went up here, okay, just keep drawing. Don't try to force it or do anything else. Just say it went up, it went down. Here we can see it went down, okay? Here, one second, please. Here we see that 
he went up, okay? He went up to this level here. Alright. One second, please. And here we can see that he went down. And right now, the price, okay? Is uh, changing direction. Alright. Okay? It's changing direction here on this uh, monthly chart, okay? All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to zoom into you. You can see that the price went down, okay? Now it's changing direction here. Now, now for those who understand the flat correction, you can check on Google, look on Google, look for flat corrective waves, or look for Elliott wave patterns, and you see at least uh, excellent website, okay, where you can go and uh, learn about, uh, okay, and also go to www.24elliottwave.com. But what we are doing at 2 your way is to simplify it, okay, the Elliott wave, okay, theory, all right? So you may not see all the complicated uh, patterns. Okay, right here, we can see that the price went down, okay, and then went up, and then went down. We can see that this is uh, A, B, C, all right? But if you look carefully here, the one that the movement from here to this level here, if we zoom into it, look carefully, okay, if we zoom into it, we can see that the price went up to this level here, all right, and then went down to this level, okay, this is about zooming to the price, and went up to this level, okay, you see now, so in fact the price displayed A, B, C, and then A, B, C, here in this session, we went, we see that it went down, but now we want to zoom into it, which means we want to look at the subwaves, we can see that the price went down first here, all right, and then went up to this level here, all right, and then now, uh, went down to this level and then you can see that's what we are doing we just counting them step by step the purpose of uh, detecting the wave is not to make a trading decision but to just wait for okay a clear cut signal if you recognize for instance a pattern we don't just place a trade like I explained to trader regarding the USD yen, we counted five ways. We draw a warning line there. If you recognize the pattern, the same thing we will do. We don't trade. We do not trade like old-fashioned traders. We just draw a line there and wait for a clear cut signal. If the signal has failed, we will come out. All right. Because if you are counting wave, the worst thing that you want to do is to be overconfident or be very excited and just place a trade like a, a child. You don't want to do that. You want to also pay attention to the fundamental because I always say to traders, one must always combine the technical and the fundamental. One example I told traders last time was Marvell. There was a beautiful setup, bullish setup, but there was some decision that went against uh, uh, Marvell and the stock went down big time, okay? So always after you see a technical setup, try to go to Google Finance, Yahoo Finance, to combine both technical and fundamental to make excellent decision. Always check Google Finance, read the news, pay attention to the news because the news is affecting the market. Do not be fooled if anyone say to you that you do not need to know. I'm not saying that you should trade the news, but you need to acknowledge the news, know exactly what is taking place, check the balance sheet of uh, stock if you want to be a swing trader or position trader to know exactly what is taking place. You don't want to buy a company because you see a bullish pattern, but the company is going to be bankrupted, okay, or going to administration, all right? So these are just few steps when you are maturing as a trader, you want to start applying those simple rules so you can make excellent decisions day by day, all right? Okay, so now we see that the price went down one, two, three, A, B, C, and then went up again, A, B, C. Now, when I see that this, that this, there was a motive wave, which means there was a trending phase for Elliott wave, and then I see A, B, C, and another A, B, C. That's why we call a double retracement. The first thing that comes into my mind when I see that is a flat correction. Now, there are three types of flat correction. There is classic. Uh, flat correction there is also what they call uh, running flat correction there is also what we call expanded flat correction in the previous video that i posted at just Rio channel we were talking most of the time about what we call okay um an expanded flat correction here the example that we have here this is what we call okay a running okay a flat correction in normal condition ladies and gentlemen in normal condition which does not happen very often. This is from here to here, this one we call the A, this one B, and this is C. 
the A can be divided into three waves, A, B, C for the flat correction, the B, which is from here to here, can be divided also into A, B, C, so A from here to here, that's the A, can be divided into A, B, C, from here to here, that's the B, can be divided into A, B, C, and from here to here, that's the C, it, can be, it will be divided into five waves when we are talking about a flat correction. The flat correction is A, B, C, A, B, C, one, two, three, four, five. All right? This is the flat correction. As I explained to you, there are various type of flat correction, but the key point you want to understand is to know that there is a A, B, C, A, B, C, which we call a double retracement. Price went down, went back to where it belongs again, this is a correction that is a corrected itself. It's what we call a double retracement, followed by one, two, three, four, five. Now, for the expanded flat correction, which I always talk about, we will see that the flat, the, the five wave forming the C will come back down completely here, somewhere here. But for the for this one, which we call a running uh, flat correction, the one, two, three, four, five wave will not go below the low. Repeat, the one, two, three, four, five wave, one, two, three, four, five waves. This is a, a corrective wave, so it's normal that they are overlapping in this case because this is not uh, a motive wave. This is just uh, one, two, three, four, five. It's a corrective wave. The low of the, that one, two, three, four, five wave for the running flat correction, the low of these five waves should not go below the low of the A corrective wave. From here to here, this is the A corrective wave. From here to here, this is the B corrective wave. From here to here is the C corrective wave. The low of the C, in the case of the running flat correction, should not go below the low of the A corrective wave. You may check on Google or Yahoo Finance to read more articles about this uh, a flat correction but the key point to understand in this video is uh, the flat correction in the form of uh, okay ABC ABC followed by one two three four five uh, in this case we can see that the low of the five wave did not go below the low of uh, okay the a corrective wave all we will do at this point in time as a smart traders we do not jump into conclusion and place a train we will just draw a line there all right we just draw a line there and we use our trading tool to wait for a clear cut signal to buy here. Here, I will buy by all means and allow and look for. And as the price is going up, you do not ignore it, pay attention to the first and near resistance level to manage your trade like a professional trader. The key point that I want to stress on in this video is that to recognize okay, an earlier wave pattern, traders will first understand clearly the definition of. Uh, a, a earlier wave, an earlier wave cycle, and also know that a, 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 a cycle minor cycle on a bigger okay time frame or a minor cycle can be part of a bigger cycle. So on this time frame, this is a cycle, but this cycle on this monthly chart can be a minor cycle of a bigger cycle. All right, you understand? So when we want to recognize an earlier wave pattern, we must use different time frame. As I've shown you on, in this video, we have started from the yearly chart. As I show you, we see first, okay, a trending phase using the definition of a cycle we know that area wave cycle is formed of uh, a trending phase and a corrective wave the trending phase is also called a motive wave all right okay we can also use different stocks stock that are listed in the same sector if the pattern is confusing we may see similar pattern repeating itself on various time various stock and you may be able okay to to, to okay analyze the stock that you are looking at okay in a better light okay 
The next thing that we can use, apart from using different stock in the same sector, as I demonstrated to you in this video, we can also use the S&P 500. By looking at the select, for instance, we were on the monthly chart. Suppose I'm a bit confused and uh, I face a challenge. I don't know what to know about this uh, pattern. I mean, for instance, go on the monthly chart of the S&P 500. Talking about the trading triangle, if I see, for instance, a running flat correction on the monthly chart for S&P 500, I may go back to my stock and look carefully and see is that a hidden, okay, a hidden, okay, a running a flat, a corrective wave. All right. I hope this video has been useful to you that you will put into use, okay, to recognize clearly Elliott wave patterns. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. We are the TSTWSYS 008 traders. Speak to you soon.